Very pleasant. Yeah, we've had now three rehearsals already, and uh, it seems to be working very, very well. Uh, wonderful musicians and a great, great group of people and uh, wonderful team. It seems like they are all together working as a team. It's very rare that that the orchestra is really working as a team. It's nice to see. I think both are, uh, both uh, kind of aspects are working. Uh, the South and North, I don't know. It's more, it's more of a tradition. And uh, I mean, by just listening to an orchestra, you can't say if it's South or North or West or East, but uh, I noticed different ways of working, different ways of reading music and, uh, you know, mu musically, uh, different traditions. So that, that, that it can be seen very much. So plus to that, there is also, of course, the, the footstep, which is uh, footprint, which is left by conductor, hopefully. And uh, this combined with the traditions and, uh, and the sound of the orchestra, is, that's the, the final result. Now I think it's, um, there is a certain, you know, you can generalize a little bit with a Scandinavian way of playing and, uh, and perhaps Central European German way of playing. But uh, as you said, maybe there is a tendency of everything coming together because there are musicians that are traveling a lot and uh, for example, many Spanish musicians are working in Finland and this cannot be not influencing. Of course it's influencing and everything is becoming, and it's, it's a rich process, it's wonderful. I think it's it's uh, it's a nice program, though it is not made uh, by me. But I, I think this uh, this program works very very nicely. Also, the idea of putting Leadov Baba Yaga uh, next to pictures at an exhibitions where there is their own Baba Yaga is very interesting. So Baba Yaga is the fairy tale uh, character from Russia, and it's uh, actually Leadov himself wrote uh, three or four symphonic poems where he always has some kind of Russian fairy tale aspect in it and uh, this is one of them. So I think the, the idea is, is wonderful. Combining a career with personal life is always a question. I mean, I think one has to have a priorities and uh, already before I had child my priorities was that I have to kind of stay human being and not a working robot. So the amount of work I take is, is limited to my capacity. I try not to do more than I can, you know, so that I can be with people 100% open and not squeezed out like a, you know, cloth. So I will keep that and hopefully this will help me also to, to combine it with uh, child and personal life and everything because that is a priority. The work is very important but if I'm not a whole as a human being then there is no use in me. <laughs>